Hey friends, welcome back to the channel for another video uh, similar to our Battlefield reaction. We are going to have a look at Halo Infinite, um, more specifically the multiplayer because they have announced multiplayer will be free. So we'll jump into the trailers and I think they've got a bit of a video that we can watch uh, where they break down kind of like an overview of the multiplayer experience itself. It looks so good. I've always been a PlayStation fanboy and Halo is something I've always been envious of with the uh, Xbox community. Grapple hooks. Just like, <laughs> did he just say no scope? <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh, giant hammer killing spree oh that has like a real unreal tournament feel to it so early um observation with both battlefield and halo is we got grapple hooks Grab hooks is uh, very handy, very cool. Take that, Call of Duty. Very action packed multiplayer trailer again. Vehicles dropping in again. Visually, it's very pleasing. Whole ass. <laughs> that is so good. Ooh, what was that skull? A Halo fam, like get get into me. Let me know what you think about this. Oh my god, is that like a bowl? What is that? I need to know more. I need to know more. That spine suit looks insane. I like the skull, it's very ghost looking. All right, and uh, now this one's like a multiplayer overview, which I think they're chatting about, which would be good for the PlayStation noobs like myself. We, we need this explained to us, but Xbox absolutely killing it. Just the feeling of like, being in a firefight and hearing the, the click of the gun, throwing it down, grabbing one off the wall. My gunner's upside down and he's like laying in. I see kill assist, kill Ooh. assist, kill assist. Any pistol across any of the games. Whatever gun allows me to feel the most like John Wick, I am there. I might change my camera so I'm not sitting in their lap. I remember how excited I was with like this big combat with vehicles going all over the place. Halo means something different for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. Gravity hammer. What is Halo multiplayer? And for me, it boils down to this tight arena style. Now I'm in his head. <laughs> and big team battle, this wide open, vehicle infused uh, kind of combat. We're taking that awesome legacy or classic halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh to old players and really exciting to new players we're going to give you great ways to customize your spartan really make your super customizing your, your own suit. that's so and good we're kicking off a journey an experience that's going to evolve month to month season to season year after year i think that's good for me working through this multiplayer of this game and the toughest challenge i think is really about how do we respect the legacy of what came before us, but still build something that feels new? We've tried to bring all these elements of legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite, not just like in a, in a, in a way where you kind of won't notice it, where you feel like, oh, they really designed this to be a celebration of previous Halo, as well as an iteration of where Halo can go next. Um, so 
when there was news that Halo were toying with the idea of Battle Royale, um, I did see a lot of fallout within like um, old school fans saying campaign and multiplayer would be neglected as a result. Um, I don't know if the plan is to do multiplayer still, but um, definitely the way they're modernizing the multiplayer looks exciting to me. Um, I don't know how the traditionalists will feel about it, but adding more content to the multiplayer could only be good. Um, I've mentioned it in, I think maybe the Battlefield video that Battle Royale isn't um, the end all of all games. Not every game needs it, um, but some games are definitely trying to tap into that market. So it's interesting to see uh, what direction Halo are going into. But as a PlayStation player, um, I'm like actually keen to trade my console just to play this on Xbox. <laughs> vision of arena was all about a tight experience it was all about being fair it was all about earning everything on the map earning everything every kill you get going back to like what is the core foundation of what made the great halo multiplayer arena matches great halo it's really about fair and balanced starts so everybody's on equal footing when they come off the rip and then once they start running around it's about scavenging it's about finding new toys and, and kind of developing your play style as you run through the match what makes Halo feel mm -hmm. like Halo? Um, I feel like uh, the answer to that question is is the sandbox. Like the sandbox is Halo. When we set out to look at Halo Infinite from a high level, is that referring to like the map? What it is? There's lots of exciting things there. A bit of really like an open world vibe to it. Things that are true to Halo. But what are the things that fans haven't seen yet? A Halo like, game is traditionally bad, like. Kind of based around hit firing. A bigger mm -hmm. voice than ever before. Doesn't seem like there's we a lot of ADS. To ourselves of. Uh, if you could go after, you know, a power weapon to get a bunch of kills, uh, would you do that? Or that would you go and get crazy. grapple to make sure that you <laughs> swing yourself to the other side of a map to back cap a stronghold? We saw it as like another avenue of not just skill expression, but tactics for teams to coordinate around. The exciting combinatory nature of, you know, this toy plus this toy and how those interact with objectives is super amazing. Looking at how the power-ups play, like your triple fuck the yeah, shield and the active camouflage for this title. I love the crapple hook. What we're excited for is you pick that up and you choose when you activate it. It goes into your inventory. If you haven't used it and someone kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield and then they can take it, use it for themselves. That to me is very legacy, but we took the equipment side of it and modernized it. When it comes to the vehicles, is that word we modernizing? We decided to invest a lot in the, the systems. When I take damage in my warthog, uh, my, my wheels can get blown off, my hood can get blown off. There's different aspects of the vehicle oh, the wheels that off. change how my vehicle handles now. Uh, yeah, that looks new. so good. The other thing we added to that uh, is makes it fresh. Mechanic. So when you hit this threshold, the vehicle catches fire, and it's very much you've got a certain amount of health or a certain amount of time, and you got to choose what you want to do with the last minutes of this vehicle. What are the multiplier wall, sizes? Which is the Razorback. The back has this like multi-storage <laughs> compartment that you can put a lot of <laughs> when you, you go up, camping like, attached turrets power weapons fusion coils objectives and that is what is really making Gen the, uh, so you can put like the flag in the back an MP and campaign or you'd be carrying it either way the but <laughs> define pace for the game how frantic it is and they define that iconic fantasy for players as they're entering that match what do they want to do um, what what is that black that, that kind of looked like the ghost, but it had like a massive saw on the front? Hell. For me, BTV is all about experiencing uh, the full extent of the sandbox of Halo in just one match, right? Like you see the vehicles, the weapons, the equipment. We really wanted to take that kind of concept, those feels you had, you know, playing the, play, playing the previous games, and just turn the volume up. Vehicles are no longer just spawning at bases anymore. We have pelicans delivering them, and we have a commander in your ear telling you delivering that them. Yes. pelicans are going to be dropping off these vehicles. Tank is inbound. We have Halo 2 style Delta Halo mission weapon pods that fall from the sky to resupply the field. That's where it makes it feel like, like a real battlefield, and, and it's very exciting. This is not just more players. This is just a certain beautiful slice of sci-fi chaos.
Play the expression. announcer is your big gameplay moments, your game modes, just like the way it was before. Play. Personal AI is really a reflection and information for the player. Personal AI, designation button. So if a player <laughs> grabs a flag, your personal AI is going to tell you to, you know, get that thing back to base and give you some, like, moment-to-moment -moment updates. Our team took the enemy flag. What if we can let players choose their I own do AI like the AI. So those are different voices. Um, so that voice the over. players can find the one that fits their personality and their <laughs> the best. That's cool. They, they add it's the simple things. Like me, as a, as a Spartan, being more important and, and for us in multiplayer it is really about becoming a spartan your spartan ah. who are you inside of the halo universe the body of customization content that we have on day i love one that i love that, that so much millions of I'm so jealous of xbox for spartans on the battlefield that includes things like armor coatings uh, armor emblems various armor effects down to the individual armor pieces so your shoulders your gloves your knee pads your helmet your I like visor, the weathering on it I wonder if that's customized more weapons and we've got a whole slew of customization offerings there vehicles reactive camos a huge pool of customizations too we support customization in the game players can do the same thing on halowaypoint.com as well as the halo waypoint app the player also customizes the Spartan, the soldier inside the suit. Companion app, the very good. represent the player as much as possible. They can change their body type and their voice, as well as choose prosthetics for the first time. Coatings offer us a unique opportunity to Blah. craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. So we're coming the details on the lens that was sick. So what that means is that there's no random loot in this. There's no loot boxes. It's very important to us that everyone understands exactly how they unlock customization content. And we have a variety of places where they can do that. First off is the Battle Pass. The Halo Battle Pass will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons, That's really good. you can purchase old Battle Passes as well as the current Battle Pass and That's choose so which good. Battle Pass to put your progression towards. A lot All of games of lot would benefit sales, from that. So you're never going to be confused about where things come from. If you can unlock something in the Battle Pass, we're not going to let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game. All customization is just cosmetic. Every season will have its own theme and introduce new components, new looks, new gameplay for players, new opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. We've seen the, the Samurai. That's right? cool. That's one of our event armor cores. And that's going to be something that players can earn through gameplay for free. I'm free to play. For the multiplayer part of the game. Like, that was a big goal because, you know, how do we have a way we can always bring players in, right? And they can... When we have a new update there's this is massive just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it not only are we free to play but we're free to play on pc as well as console and what that means is we're able to get the biggest audience we've ever had everybody gets to play with no barriers and even better your progression carries from one platform to the next getting our game to be on pc and console at the same time is an amazing chance for us to really just kind of excite new players about the game mask on things, very good like, Crossplay, interesting and like even in just customs being able to just play with your friends that like some people have pcs and some people have consoles and like let them talk to each other let them yeah i them. could just get on pc why am i so hooked on wanting to get an xbox why now are you here? to be a spartan the academy is a place that you can go uh with an mp to kind of onboard into the experience it's great for newer players who are still picking like up me. controls and also people who want to warm up before they head into matchmaking it's a series of experiences both a tutorial to get started for well, the first time weapon drills to visually this game is just items, stunning and also training mode that you can use yeah some ads action yeah warm, explore the game as you want to for players who are new to halo let's help them learn what this universe is about some of these characters what what are they about and help them kind of know the vocabulary that people have been speaking for now almost 20 years so that we, when they come in there, they don't feel like they're behind everyone else. They can kind of come in on an even footing. I mean, I'm super jazzed about bots. I think they're awesome. Our goal with bots has been to have a variety of difficulties that kind of provide a good training partner for everyone. Oh, this is just for experience. the academy. Partnering with our players on the road to launch and after launches absolutely critical right i mean halo's always been about the community conversation we want to make sure we hear our players 
make changes where we can based on that feedback, make sure the game is ready for launch, and then even beyond launch. What I'm genuinely excited about is taking the game out of our hands and putting it into the community's hands. You know, whether it's seeing what people make in Forge or the content that they're able to create with theater, watching streamers go after the game. To get involved, this team go is to absolutely Halo killing it. Com, put in your info with your gamer tag, and we should be able to reach out to you if we want to invite you to a Halo Infinite flight. We feel like we've oh got a pretty God. good selection of <laughs> what's going to be there for our fans. And this isn't going to be something that is just a static set of items. We have some new stuff in the works already, and just can't wait to really get into that as soon as this game comes out. New maps, new modes, new ways to customize your Spartan launches just the beginning. Now we're just gonna be able to talk, interact more frequently. And that's just gonna be great. That is the future of Halo Infinite multiplayer. Thank you to the community. That should for all be their the benchmark the for so a lot far. of multiplayer and, uh, games to be honest. To the road to launch, launch itself, and beyond. I was not expecting to be this excited over Halo. Man, that's cool. So they're the two multiplayer related videos that we had for Halo Infinite. Um, I am lost for words. That is such, such a good presentation in general. Uh, the free to play, the battle pass, the, the ability to revisit battle passes and not being able to lose them based on expiry dates. That's really cool. Um, I'd like to hear from people who've played Halo over the years, um, see if the changes appeal to them. Like, as someone who isn't exactly a traditionalist, uh, it's appealing to me. So uh, I think in that aspect, their commitment to bring in new players, definitely um, sinking the hook in. Uh, it's got me excited, that's for sure. So yeah, if you've got any thoughts on the two videos we just watched or anything you feel like they've missed, um, I, I was just overwhelmed with how good it was. I haven't thought to pick out any flaws as well as being a fairly fresh face to Halo franchise in general. Um, I haven't played Halo since like Halo 1 and, well, I haven't played Halo regularly since 1 and 2. Um, when I used to have Xboxes in the household, but overall, I think the team behind this absolutely killing it. Um, I think they'll go a long way in setting the benchmark for other multiplayer titles. Um, grapple hooks are sick. If it's your first video or you're a regular, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you spending time with us. Um, Feel free to leave a like, a comment, uh, even drop a sus subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.